What's up guys, my name is Jenda and today we're going to be talking about the new Call of Duty game that is going to be released in 2014 this year and I'm about to show you guys the trailer so I'll be back in a sec. Democracy? Democracy. Democracy is not what these people need. Hell, it's not even what they want. America has been trying to install democracies in nations for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. Little things like, we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us. We ought to be tolerant of those who worship a different god than us. That a journalist ought to be able to disagree with the president. And you think that you can just march into these countries based on some fundamentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, topple a dictator and start a democracy? rules protection from invaders and from themselves people need a leader who can give them both the support and the constraints to keep chaos at bay you give them that and they'll follow and that's where I come in Alright guys, I am back and as you can see from the trailer, this game was captured on the Xbox One. So I think that they're actually going to be releasing all the DLC and all that stuff earlier for the Xbox One again. Just like, like they did with, with all the previous Call of Duties. PlayStation never wins in this war. Xbox always gets the first DLC, first everything. And we can see this from this trailer. But when the trailer first starts... You could see how there was this one man walking around, and you could see, like, the vice president talking about democracy and everything. And this game looks like, I mean, well, it's called Advanced advanced Warfare. And I feel like this game is going to be there in the future, for sure. And those those helicopters that they had during, like, the beginning of the game actually reminded me of the helicopters, or, like, like, the, like the pilot things that they had in Halo 3. Uh, I wasn't really a big Halo fan, but I played Halo before, and it reminds me of that a lot, and I feel like this game is going to be okay, because it's made by a new company, Sledgehammer, so this year we're not going to have zombies like we did last time, uh, because every single year, Infinity Ward and Treyarch would switch between each other, so this year we all thought that we, that we were going to get a new zombies game, and I was actually really excited, because Call of Duty Ghosts, in my opinion, guys... It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it just annoys the hell out of me and it just pisses me off. And I hate how like I have to deal with all this bullshit deaths that I usually get. And I don't know like what it is about Call of Duty that makes me always come back and play it, but there's like like Call of Duty has this one secret thing that makes people get addicted to the game and for them to come back and play it. I don't know what it is, but it's like every time that I play Call of Duty, I, like like when when I start playing and I like raging at pissed off, I stop playing for like 30 minutes and then I come back to play. And I don't know what it is about that that just makes me want to come back and try to destroy kids again. But it's just like 
Call of Duty has honestly become a really cool game lately. Um, like, all the new stuff that they're putting in kind of worries me. I mean, the game is, go like, like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare does look cool. How, like, like as you can see from the trailer, there was this one part where the guy put up his own, um, his own, like, cover. And it, it just looks sweet. But, like, all these helicopters, all this stuff. So, obviously, like, this is going to be in the future for sure. And, basically, I don't think that... Call of Duty can really do much more if they keep putting games in the future because honestly like they're like they're just guessing on like the equipment. It like this reminds me kind of of like Black Ops 2 a little bit. How Black Ops 2 is kind of set in the future and how they had all this stuff uh, like like the tracker site and all that crap like that stuff's going to be really annoying and in this game they're actually they actually did have a tracker site uh during the thing was it was the the thing was playing the trailer was playing and you could see the tracker site and, and all that stuff working, and it's just like like it just like you're walking and it just zones in on the whole area and you can see everything. And I think all this stuff with Call of Duty, like them doing this, is kind of ruining the game because it's just like it's not fun. It takes no skill if you have a tracker site and you can see things. Now thermals thermals are fine because thermals have always been used, and thermals are just something good to use in the game. But tracker sites, like, it, how it just shows where the enemy is all the time is so aggravating to use. And a tracker site, it, look, it works just like a red dot site. So honestly, it takes no skill in using a tracker site at all. And if you're, like, a semi-decent good player, uh, I personally think I'm okay. I'm not the best. I'm not amazing. I'm just, I think I, I can play games kind of good, or play the game kind of good, I mean. Um... When you get a death from like 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 some of this bullshit like tracker saying all that thing just because you didn't see the guy and he saw you with like a little yellow blinking thing on the screen that kind of pisses me off because it's just like like what the fuck like how did he see me and I didn't see him and it's really annoying how that happens uh, but I think they're gonna be bringing back the tracker site uh, the end of the trailer you saw someone like use like their hands to like climb up walls I think that's only going to be used in um the the campaign because usually all the stuff like all the cool stuff that happens in these trailers are usually all from the campaign they don't really show multiplayer yet but um that's what i think it's going to be for same with uh like the suits where like they can't see you it's called like the um uh the exoskeleton i think uh the exoskeleton looks kind of cool and all but I feel like if they use that for multiplayer that is just going to ruin the whole game because that do you know how annoying that would be to have like someone just be running around you can't like they're invisible you can't see them like that shit would be aggravating as fuck and i i don't think that call of duty should do that at all like that would just be a bad move on sledgehammer but sledgehammer are the people that brought modern warfare 2 is what i heard and they're like they're like the same type of people like not the company but they're the same type of people who are working with infinity ward and then they left and then they came back, and now they're a new Sledgehammer gaming company. So I'm not really sure how Call of Duty is going to work out this year. And as I see th through the trailer right now, like, people, like, like have you, like, be been like, okay, like, pay attention to the jumps. When people jump, they literally jump, like, four feet up in the air. And this game, it kind of, it's, it's kind of, like, reminding me of Halo in, in a sense. And I don't want Call of Duty to change into a Halo game. Because like like that's what Destiny's for Destiny's coming out soon. That's gonna become like a Halo Call of Duty game. And I I really don't want Call of Duty to become like a Halo game. It's not that Halo is bad. It's it, it's just like I don't think soldiers. I, okay, yeah, it's advanced warfare. So yeah, they can jump like ten feet high. But that like that's just gonna be annoying as fuck to play with. But guys, overall, I'm not trying to hate on Call of Duty Ghosts or any of the Call of Duty games previously. I know a lot of people may like them. I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying that all the stuff that they are putting in the game is just ruining it. And that's why Call of Duty has just become less uh, less fun over the couple of years. But I do hope Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is going to be a good game. I know many people may not anticipate it as being a good game because it they may just say like oh it's call of duty just bringing the same bullshit back with with brand new maps oh this game could just be like a dlc you know what i mean and a lot of people have just been saying that like recently about the games but i think with the next gen consoles the xbox one and ps4 they can do a lot more things i i hope and i pray that they can make servers big enough i hate like 6v6 i hope they can make it like 12v12 or like in Battlefield 4, 32 versus 32, or that would be insane. I hope we see brand new game modes. 
something fun, something fun can return, and I like, and I really enjoy the competitive scene of Call of Duty, so I really hope that they do something like, like, League Play, or, like, Clan Wars to bring back the competitive scene, because that would just be, honestly, the best thing ever, and I think a lot of pro players would enjoy that, but overall, I just hope this game doesn't do some crazy shit to ruin it, um, I, I really just hope it's, like, a clean game like Black Ops 1, or Modern Warfare 3, um, I hope they have good kill streaks and not all the specialist. Well, no, specialist, yeah, not all the support I meant. Because support kill streaks are kind of lame because it's just like you can die like 20 times and get like 10 kills and you'll get like a, like a, I don't know, like ballistic vest. Or you can get like go on a 14 kill streak and get like a chopper gunner. So it's harder. But I do think overall Call of Duty Advanced Warfare may be a good game. I'm hoping that it is. I'm going to be buying it the first day. And I will be posting videos of it on my channel daily. I will also be bringing you guys more in information about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare when I can. Um, I really hope the, the game is going to be good as I said before. And I will have gameplay commentaries and everything the first day it comes out. If you guys didn't watch the trailer to the end uh, that I posted, uh, the game will be coming out November 4th, 2014. So let's hope that that day is going to be a great day for all of us gamers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like and also subscribe, subscribe I mean, for more. And uh, thanks for watching, bros, and peace out.